Hey guys, Game Bar 16 right back with another video. This time around, we are doing Mary Jane's Dress Fairy Tale. I have done um, art before Mary Jane's Dress, but I haven't posted it on uh, YouTube. Uh, it was a couple of years ago, back when I first started doing digital art. That's not really a point in this video. So, um, for this video and the next video, I'm not going to say who, who I drew, but if you've checked out my Twitter or Discord, you know... Uh, you know the four recent drawings that um, that are posted. So anyway, I decided to try to draw, or try my best to draw Mayor Jane and the other character for the next video uh, in a more 80s style, uh, or at well not, or okay, not 80s, uh, in the style of this YouTuber named Nana Nexi. I might have mispronounced uh, their name, but they tend to do like 90, uh, 90 style anime art. Um, I've checked out plenty of their speed paints. And as I've mentioned before, I have a Google, uh, in my Google Docs, I, I have folders for references. So I've taken almost all of the artworks from, from them that I could find on the internet, whether it's our DeviantArt, Twitter, um, or any other place where they've posted art. <sighs> and I put it in the folder. I um, study the shapes, uh, the shapes for the hair and the, and the body shapes they use. I've studied the way they draw eyes, uh, all that stuff. The same kind of stuff I did for uh, the DBS Broly style, except a lot quicker um, because I've gotten used to the idea of studying artwork in a way that uh, helps me. And then when I actually create the artwork, I have, I still use their artwork. I still have their artwork uh, within the project as a reference, uh, just to remind me of what I need to accomplish. I think for this, for this artwork and the other artwork that I posted, I, could, I guess I could have done better. Uh, for the poses, these poses came from clickpost.com. Um, for those of you who are on Discord, you guys know I do gesture drawing occasionally. So I did a gesture drawing and I found this image. It's on the left side somewhere. I think it's the upper left. That's that's basically the pose I'm doing. And I also did the same thing for the other artwork. Again, I'm not gonna sweat who it is. If you want to know, you'll have to check out my Twitter because on my Twitter, I posted an artwork. I posted the Ichigo redraw one day, the day after I posted two other artworks. And then today, the day I'm actually recording this, not the day I'm uploading this, but the day I'm recording this, which is a Friday, I posted the fourth artwork that I recently just finished. And the artwork that I'm talking about um, is a redraw of kinds. And well, yeah, it is a redraw of a moment from a specific series. I'm not going to say what. And surprisingly it took me less than two hours to finish the entire drawing it took me 60 minutes to do the background for said drawing and the entire project took me an hour, one hour and 57 minutes which which means it took me uh, one hour and 42 minutes to actually completely um draw the character so the doodle the sketch the line art the flats and then the shading and the shading doesn't take that much because for the style that i was going for I don't need to go like super in in depth uh, in terms of the shading, but back to this uh, this one. So yeah, I tried to uh, replicate the style. I have on the right side of the image. I believe I have three references. I can't I can't see. I'm not looking at the uh, video at the moment, so I can't see what's currently going on. But on the right, I should probably have references, and on the on the bottom left. I have a reference of the work. Um, all the works have have like a um, watermark on them, or at least almost all of them, to my knowledge, have a watermark on them. So it'll be obvious. And then obviously, I have references of Mirror Jane from Fairy Tale because anytime I draw a character, I have a reference of said character. Even if the character I was drawing was an OC of mine, 
um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a reference. Uh, hence, why I've created reference sheets for a multitude of different characters. Some I haven't even uploaded on this channel, and the ones I haven't uploaded on this channel, I might not ever draw again. Um, and I plan on making more reference sheets. I actually plan on making one for for a project that I'm doing. But in terms of these projects that I'm doing, um, I work on them on my own pace because when it comes to art and my creativity i only want to work on something if i'm actually feel like doing it like i have a, i have the passion to create the specific work if i don't want to do it at the time i move on to something that i actually care more about because obviously my art's going to be at its best when i'm actually enjoying it and i'm i'm and, uh emotionally i'm going to be at my best when i'm happy so i do whatever makes me happy in terms of my artwork so, yeah, I just work on everything on my own pace. And, yeah. Um, for those of you who keep up uh, with what I actually say in these videos and pay attention, I've talked about the Tan versus Brown multiple times. I want to uh, mention that I've gone, gone a pretty good amount of progress. Uh, let's see, it was yesterday. Got a pretty good amount of progress yesterday on it. Uh, um, pretty soon I'm gonna get into the second second instance of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, the part, the hand-to-hand -hand combat or the fighting in general is what takes the longest for me. When it comes to like basic movement, flips, uh, flips, swings, um, transformation, I guess, yeah, transformation sequences. Uh, things that are, uh, yeah, using the, yeah, using camera movement to, um, emphasize things. Uh, yeah, when it comes to stuff like that, um, where I, like, I use, like, it's supposed to take up a good amount of time, and I can use, uh, yeah, and I, it doesn't take, like, too much in terms of, like, animating the character. Uh, I can get, like, a few, a few hundred frames from that. If, if I needed to, without without necessarily needing to think about and correct the animation a multitude of times to get it right. So, that's where we're at right now in terms of Tim versus Brown. Um, I'm also working on that on my own pay, at my own pace. Uh, I know I started working on it like early last year. So, yeah, about a year ago, and I still haven't finished it. And there are other animations I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of doing some full body animation. And last year, I did want to actually do a, finish a full body animation. That was my goal for 2020. That didn't work out. So I'm hoping this year I can actually do it. But we'll just we'll just have to see. Uh, what goes down? I do know that I'm probably gonna be creating at minimum per month for artworks. At a very minimum, it depends. I mean, I've created four artworks within this week. This uh, yeah, this week alone. Yeah, because yeah, everything I've done, yeah, everything I'm, I'm posting, uh, the thing I posted, uh, the Ichigo drawing I posted yesterday, this drawing, and then the other two were all within the same week, because, the, yeah, the, the mirror drawing drawn and the other character I finished, uh, let's see, I finished yesterday, so yeah, I finished Thursday, the day before that, so I finished the Ichigo, and then... Today, the day I'm recording this, which is Friday, is when I finished the fourth drawing, which I'll talk about when the, when I get to recording this specific video. So, um, with that out of the way, I apologize for not really talking much about uh, Mirror Jane whatsoever, since she was a subject of this drawing. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys later.